Why do cats do that? They are cute. They are lovable. And judging by the 26 billion views of over 2 million YouTube videos of them, bouncing, bouncing, climbing, cramming, stalking, clowning, shuddering, and boring. One thing is certain, cats are very entertaining. These somewhat strange flying behaviors, both amusing and baffling. Leave many of us asking, why do cats do that? Throughout time, cats were simultaneously solitary predators of smaller animals and prey for larger carnivores. As both predator and prey, survival of their species depended on crucial essential behaviors, which we still observe in wild and domestic cats today. While the feline actions of your house cat might seem perplexing, in the wild, these same behaviors, naturally bred into cats for millions of years, would make it a super cat. Enabled by their unique musculature structure and keen balancing abilities, cats climb to high vantage points to survey their territory and spot prey in the wild. Your cat doesn't need this particular skill to find and hunt down dinner in her food pole today, but instinctually viewing the living room from the top of the bookcase is exactly what she has evolved to do. As wild predators, cats are opportunistic and hunt whenever prey is available. Since most cat prey are small, cats in the wild need to eat many times each day and use a stalk pounds, kill, eat strategy to stay fed. This is why your cat prefers to chase and pounce on little toys and eat small meals over the course of the day and night. Also small prey tend to hide in tiny spaces in their natural environments. So one explanation of your cat propensity to reach into containers and openings is that she is compelled by the same curiosity that helped ensure the continuation of her species for millions of years before. In the wild, Cassie needed sharp claws for climbing, hunting, and self-defense. Sharpening their claws on nearby surfaces kept them conditioned and ready, helped stretch their back and leg muscles, and relieve some stresses too. So it is not that your cat hates your couch, hair, autumn, pillows, curtain, and everything else you put in her environment. She is ripening these things to shreds and keeping her clothes in tip top shape because this is exactly what her ancestors did in order to survive. As animals that were preyed upon, cats evolved to not get caught and in the wild. The cats that were the best at avoiding predators thrived. So at your house today, your cat is an expert at squeezing into small spaces and seeking out and hiding in unconventional spots. It also explains why she prefers a clean and other free leather box that's less likely to give away her location to any predators that may be sniffing around the nearby. Considering everything we do know about cats, it seems that one of their most predominant behaviors is still one of the most mysterious. Cats may bore for any number of reasons, such as happiness, stress, hunger, but curiously, the frequency of their pores between 25 and 150 Hz is within range that can promote tissue regeneration. So while here, purring makes your cat an excellent nap companion. It's also possible that her burr is healing her muscles and pawn and maybe even yours too. They developed through time as both solitary predators that hunted and killed to eat and stealthy prey that hid and escaped to survive. So cats today retain many of the same instincts that allowed them to thrive and the wild for millions of years. This explains some of their seemingly strange behaviors. To them, our home are their jungles, 
But if this is the case in our own cat's eyes, who are we? Big dumb, hairless cat competing with them for resources. Terribly stupid predators, they are able to outsmart every day. Or maybe they think we are the prey.